Hey there, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com and there's a new build of Windows 8 available called the Windows 8 Release Preview and uh, we thought it would be fun to see how it works on the old HP TouchSmart TM2 so let's check it out. Okay, here's the new start screen for uh, Windows 8, the uh, Release Preview not much has changed, but we have a few new apps that are bundled, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go into the photos. Now already I've launched this and I'm connected to my um, Media Center PC and this is browsing photos that are on a different computer using SkyDrive. So I can really easily look at old pictures. Look at that tablet. Oh, hey. So we can do that, and if we back out, here's the home screen, so we see uh, this is the pictures library on my tablet. We have SkyDrive pictures, Facebook pictures, there's another computer that has SkyDrive installed but it's not turned on, so you can't browse pictures when it's not turned on, and of course there's Flickr. Next up, let's go back to start and look at the people. This is seeing a few updates. We still have the people, what's new, me up there at the top. And it's going to load the what's new feed. So here we see Facebook and Twitter loading in right there. That's pretty cool. You can check the me tile. There's a little number there saying that we have notifications. So there's the me tile. We can see some of my uh, Facebook updates, notifications, and of course the pictures. And you can even see comments on photo albums here, and likes as well. And let's go to music. And you see a little animation there, a pretty cool little flipping around there. And you can see I'm on an artist right now. And we can tap that and you can see the music. Add to my music is uh, works with our Zoom Pass, so it'll just download the whole album so you have it for offline use. You can just play it and stream the whole thing if you have a Zoom Pass. And here's the home. We see my music there. We see new releases. Kind of a Zoom like interface slash Xbox style. <laughs> Let's go back and see what else we have Xbox Live Games. Again, we got the cool flippy thing. And here it is. Uh, we have a couple friends are online. I can edit my avatar, view achievements, and we can see some game advertisements. Ooh, wait a minute. And I can see my game activity. There's some games for uh, Windows, which are coming soon. There's the Xbox Game Marketplace. So there's a pretty cool interface there. I also have Xbox Companion, which is very cool. This will control your Xbox, kind of like the Windows Phone version. If we swipe up from the bottom, you get game controls, if it was connected. And here's some new apps. There's a news one. Very, very nice design here and a horizontal scrolling. You can click on an article. And it's kind of a newspaper layout, so this is a very easy to read multi-column and we scroll to go to the next page. There's the sports app. Again, very cool design. Full, full screen pictures, typography, little boxes for articles. Very cool. And this one I like, Travel. Travel app. Being Travel, very cool. Large picture and destinations. And here's something that I really like, the panoramas. There's Times Square. We can zoom in. Not too much, okay. 
That's a very cool feature. And you got articles, so fun stuff there. And the finance app. Again, very beautiful design here. And you can uh, add certain stocks that you want to watch here. There's some featured. Now let's show the, let's get the share button working. Uh, how about WordPress? Let's choose an article. So there's pretty nice design there. Look at the pictures. And let's try the share button from here. There we go. Now we have post on Facebook, mail, wordpress.com, people. So post on Facebook is going to go to the people hub. And it brings up a bar on the right here. And I can choose Facebook or Twitter and add a message. There's my keyboard. Works pretty nicely with this device. I'm not going to post that, but that's the button. So it'll be really nice if that shows up in a lot more apps. That uh, share feature for posting to Facebook. Now the video app has been updated as well. You see the Xbox team has been designing this these video and music apps and you can tell by the background and the layout of the tiles or whatnot. So we have a lot of different options here. Now one thing that's kind of unclear, what if I want to look at more movies? There's only how many there? Whatever. Uh, there's no more movies button. So it seems like I only have these to choose from, but really if you tap the movies marketplace word up there then we're able to choose other movies and also we can search within the video app so let's see what's a good movie definitely piranha and then we see it's loaded the uh, movie there I can buy it actually I can't buy it <laughs> this is uh, not finished but we can look at the trailer and it's going to play right there and that's pretty cool. <laughs> now the mail app has also seen some updates. We now have three columns where previously we had only two and you, it was kind of hard to find the folders or the multiple accounts over there. So now it's a little better, easier to use. We have the uh, menu down there, but my exchange account does not work. It loads the folders but it never loads any messages. And there's no way to add uh, POP3 or IMAP accounts yet. In fact, there's no, not even an add accounts button here. The way I got my exchange account in there was to go to the People Hub and add an account there, which is obviously not intuitive. I really need an accounts button down there. <laughs> and here's the Maps app. And one thing that's kind of annoying, there's no buttons here. It's, uh, how, how do you do anything? You have to remember with Windows 8 that buttons are down below. If you do a swipe up, we have some options here. Show traffic, map style, and the other thing you have to remember is uh, the search feature is always right here. So a lot of apps are going to have the search button is hidden under the right edge. So now I can search for something. And here are our search results. And we see up here, you can scroll sideways. It's pretty, pretty nice. And we can choose one of those, and it shows up here. And we can get more information on that restaurant. Prices, hours, pretty cool stuff there. And the website. That's loading a full screen Internet Explorer, the Metro style version. And this works very, very smoothly. And if we look at the settings, we have a couple more options. We have lots more color options here. We have different little texture options. I kind of like the flat one. And we can choose different colors. There's blue, and it changes instantly. There's a different color right now. And getting back there is very easy. Just swipe that. 
And let's go back to this color. You can see that change right away. Don't forget we got task switching on the left. Very quick, two-handed start, swap, swap, swap. And this is my favorite, the thumbnails on the left edge. So I can really easily switch to whichever one I want. So that's uh, shaping up pretty nicely. Of course, we still have the desktop. Very easy to switch to. That was very quick. And uh, you can run any of your normal desktop programs here. And this is a video editing program. And it works very well. Of course, we need stylus because a lot of these buttons are very tiny. This is not a touch-friendly design for that app. So that's a quick look at the Windows 8 release preview. Lots of cool stuff happening. There's lots of live tiles, very cool little animations, and uh, it's working very nicely on my old tablet from before the first iPad came out. Lots of cool stuff going on there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did, and that's it for now.